And so actually this team in 97, five champs, two other all -Amer three other All-Americans, six in the finals, they weren't favored to win going into the NCAAs that year. For some people that maybe can't remember, uh, Oklahoma State was the uh, favorite team. And to be honest with you, how favored they were is that they lined up the award winners, presenters, ahead of time. And the award winner for the runner-up was Bob Siddons because they knew that Bob Siddons would present me with the runner-up award. And so on Friday night, when it was mathematically clinched, they changed him from the runner-up to the champion. So you just, you just never know. But the thing about this team was in, in 94, is, is, is Tom Ryan still there? But in 94, I coached the world team, and even though I'd already been a coach for quite a while, I made a mistake. I worked him too hard, too long. And because of that, uh, in competition, we were still tired. And we didn't do that well at the 94. We had a couple medals, we were overseas, and uh, I think uh, Turkey, and but we just didn't. We had a. I didn't look at the team that I had and and what they really who they were. I came in at the end. We only had a two week period for training because they were in a Goodwill Games. And when I got them, when I watched them practice, I thought they were nowhere close to being what they and they hadn't done that well in that championships. So. I worked them extremely hard, hoping that I would let up enough in the last week. But I, I didn't factor in all the travel. I didn't factor in that they weren't in very good shape. And so it's like it's going to be tough to get them in really good shape. I didn't look at the lineup and see what was in that lineup. We had several world champions in that lineup. And if you just would get them ready mentally, even though they weren't ready physically, if you got in their mind, I would have probably gotten a lot more out of them. We would have had more than two medals, I can tell you that right now. So in 97, this team here, I believe we had two Big Ten champions. Two Big Ten champions. Two weeks before the 97 championship. And I panicked a little bit. And I, you know, I, and I don't really call Big Ten champions by that time. You know, I didn't call, call it the Big Ten championships. I call it a qualifier. Once you got built and once you got at that certain level, you wanted to peak, you know, correctly. And so at the time, I'm not sure how many guys were even in the finals. I'm not even sure who won the Big Tens that year individually. I'd have to guess. I, I think maybe uh, Ironside. I think uh, maybe Lincoln. That was all who won the Big Ten Championships two weeks before this unbelievable event up here. And so what happened, I went to practice. On the way back, my mind's going crazy. And so I'm going to whip these guys in shape. And, and they weren't really out of shape. I just, I said, I had to shock them a little bit. And so I, Got him right back, I think it was Monday morning. Got him up at six o'clock, worked him out, took him to practice, went into my office, spent some time on the phone. An hour later, I walked into the wrestling room and everybody was gone. I walked to the locker room, it was like every night I did, cleaning up headgears and whatever was left. But there was one guy still in that wrestling room, setting against one of the pillars. And it was this guy right here. I don't even know if you remember. 
And I don't think he does. <laughs> but everybody was gone, and I'd already had him getting ready to get up tomorrow, the next morning, six o'clock, and he was sitting there. And he's probably, I would say, on the team, maybe the best conditioned athlete we had on the team as far as just condition <coughs> at that particular time. And he was sitting against the pillar, and I walked in, what are you doing here? Why don't you home rest and get ready for tomorrow? And he said, Coach, I'm tired. I haven't recovered from the Big Tens yet. I'm really exhausted. I said, get in there and take a shower, recover. I'll see you at 6 o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep that night. Over and over, I'm thinking. And finally, I came to the conclusion. And I looked back upon my career. And all of a sudden, 94 hit me. I got a great team. I got, look who I got on the team. I got several returning national champs and all Americans. I said, I just, I can't make the same mistake. I'm going to work only on their mentality in the next two weeks, not on physical workouts. So they came the next morning. They were there at 6 o'clock, ready to go. I got them out there in the room, and I ran them for a good warm-up inside the wrestling room. And then they, they looked ragged. And then all of a sudden I said, guys, hit the showers. And they looked at me like I was nuts. <laughs> But that is exactly what was needed. And so then I had each guy on the team, instead of our, the coach talking to them every day, they got up and talked to the team individually that week. And they said certain things. You know, actually, on your side, I give you a lot of credit. 